this is Darren from O'Neill Brothers Racing. Doing a video for you guys and show you what you need to do when you buy a long block from us. How to complete it. I got a stock G290 long block here. Um, just like any other long block you would get from us, same size, same parts, same everything. Okay? You see in front of me I have all these parts laid out for you. This is everything you need to complete this long block. You have exhaust gaskets, intake gaskets, intake manifold. You got the clutch with the clutch back plate and bolt, whatever clutch you're using, C Y or Zanoa. You have flywheel, flywheel key, a flywheel nut. You have the clutch housing, carburetor, coil, covers, full start, and everything else. So, how I start is with the clutch housing. The reason why is because the clutch housing is real square and it's a nice platform to build your motor on so it keeps it stable. So I'll go ahead and put these on first. You use a M5 by 16 bolt. That's usually what the clutch housing bolts are. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get the bolts started. Here at O'Neill Brothers Racing, all our motors are torqued together. Every piece has a torque spec, which is given to us by Zonoa Company. We use an inch-pound torque wrench. The torque spec for the clutch housing, the case bolts, and the head bolts are all 80 inch-pounds. star pattern. This assures you that everything is tight and even when you get your motor. Do a double check. Now you got a good platform. Your motor kind of sits a little bit better. Plus you can lay it on its back. It's just easy for me to do it that way. So now we're going to go ahead and put the clutch and flywheel on. Go ahead and take that spark plug we give you, pull it out, we'll put that piston stop in. Piston stop is a great tool for taking clutches off, putting flywheels on, off and on. I would definitely invest in one, they're very cheap and you can find them just about anywhere. So what I start off is with the clutch. You got the backing plate and the bolt. Real simple, put the backing plate on, put the bolt in. So now you need to uh, torque down the uh, back clutch plate. The torque spec on this is 80 inch pounds. This is a 10 mil. On CYs, they're 5 mils. That's okay. 80 inch pounds on that one. So now we go to the clutch shoes. Like I said in the previous video, you have four washers on the clutch. You have a wave washer, and you have two you have two wave washers and two straight washers. The wave washers go on first. On the clutch, you'll see there's an arrow side and a blank side. Arrow side faces out. Bolts go through, straight washers go underneath, you put the clutch on. Torque spec on the clutch bolts. Also, 80 inch pounds. Click, click, check it. Always double check. You always want to double check your work as you work so you never have to work backwards. Okay, next is going to be flywheel side. Now, this is a little bit tricky. This little half moon key 
can be a pain sometimes because it doesn't want to go in or it just falls out. So it takes a little bit of patience. What I'll do first is I'll try to get the, the key as flat as possible so the key sits in there and doesn't fall out. Okay, so if the key's facing that, I got it facing up. So I get the key in there and I try to push it in there as best as I can so it doesn't, it doesn't stick. It doesn't stick or move or anything. Another thing is I try to angle the, angle the key. I don't know if we can see this, but I try to e angle the key up so I can hook and push down so the back part doesn't want to push out. So I'll take the flywheel, line up the, the groove hole, and what I'll do is I'll actually look through the side of the case right here in this hole and just guide my, you know, just guide it in. Let's see if I can do this with showing you. Okay, that went on. Push it on. Flywheel nut. This is also 80 inch rounds. So you're about halfway through it now. Really the hard part's done. So what I'll do is I'll put the spark plug on. Now I won't spark, I won't torque down the spark plug just because in the field I'm sure you're, you're not going to have a torque wrench out there. So just go ahead and give it a good tight squeeze. If it's a brand new plug, it has crush washers on it. Just make sure that those washers are compressed and it's got a nice firm, nice firm squeeze to it. Next one I'm going to do is the coil. Now the coil has two bolts and two block spacers. Spacers are real important. If you don't put the spacers on, and you have the coil just bolted onto the head, first of all, your coil will be out of line. Second, your coil could ground out through the motor itself. Definitely the plastic spacers are necessary. I've seen too many people running no spacers. So I'll go ahead, put the bolts through, coil spacers. I'll lay the motor down just like this and put it on. This is an M4 bolt, and what I'll do is I'll get it nice and nice and loose, just just real, just enough. There's a little bit of pressure. Then what I'll do is I'll use a business card. It's probably the best you can use. I put it in like this in between the in between the flywheel and the coil. And what I'll do is I'll actually look for the magnets that that are on the flywheel and I'll spin it till the flywheel and the coil are touching. They'll actually suck the coil down. Okay? That's a great gap. You have the, the card in between. Also, when you tighten these down, you want to do this, the bottom bolt first, get a good little snug on it, then the top one. Then we go and torque them. The torque spec for a coil is 50 inch pounds. So we'll reset our reset our torque wrench. Start with the bottom one first. Click. Click. That's it. Pull your card out. Now you have a perfect gap. Now we go to the manifold. You got your uh, Zanola manifold, then you have a CY manifold. They're both the same. One is black, one is brown. The black ones are Zanolas, the brown ones are CYs. Don't be afraid, they're all the same. So you want to use an exhaust gasket. They all work, all, all the same, they're all universal. Okay? So you're going to use two M5 by 20 volts. Go in, put your manifold on, and what I'll do is I'll 
Don't tighten them down. Just snug. You just want to snug it so it stops. There's no uh, no play or anything. And then we hit it with the torque wrench again. The torque spec for a manifold is 65 inch pounds. Now you're torquing down plastic, so you might not want to get that, that click right away. You might want to snug it halfway and then move to the other one. Kind of alternate back and forth until you get that, until you hit your torque. Just because you're torquing plastic, um, plastic tends to bend under pressure. And if you do it as even as possible, it gets on as even as possible and you avoid air leaks. Now next would be the carburetor. Now usually uh, when you have your uh, car, you have an air filter of some sort. So you'd use the, coral, uh, the air filter bolts, but I'm going to simulate that with these bolts. Now I see a lot of people get these two confused. This is a carburetor gasket. If you notice that there's, there's two holes, okay, those are pulse holes. Doesn't matter which way you put the carburetor gasket on, it's going to line up. Now this is a vin uh, velocity stack gasket. Now you notice that the bore in the middle is a little bit bigger and there's no holes. Okay, I've noticed that some people will take these and put them on the manifold like that. You always want to look for those holes. Those holes mean carburetor gasket. No holes mean V-stack gasket. So this is what I'll do. So you have your filter, your velocity stack gasket goes in front of the carburetor, just like this. Your carburetor gasket goes on behind the carburetor. Then you would put it on. Now I don't have a filter on, so I'm not going to torque these bolts. But the torque spec for carburetor bolts are 65 inch pounds. You're almost there. It's kind of looking like a motor already. So next will be your top shroud. Now these are important. It's, uh, a lot of people don't like to run them, but I'll tell you what, these things will really keep your motor cool. It channels air for you. Without this, your air kind of just flies wherever it wants. It doesn't actually come through the fins. So it suggests that always always have an engine trout. It helps with the cooling. This one's real easy. Put it on like that. Line your coil up. Push it the grommet through. Little Phillips head bolt in the side. There is no torque spec for this bolt. Nice little snug fit, and then that's it. Put your pull start and engine cover on. You will use the M5 by 20 bolts, the four, depending if you're in a low C or HBI. In the HBI, sometimes you might have to take one of these out for the braces. On the low C's, you keep all four of them in. Every card's a little bit different. The torque spec on these guys is 80 inch pounds. You'll notice a lot of the, a lot of the foot pounds are all the same. Some of them are different. sucks the shroud in. And then 
you would put whatever kind of exhaust header you would want on it. I would suggest doing that when the motor's out of the car. Some exhaust headers have an aggressive vent on them that makes them kind of complicated to do in a car. So it'd probably be a good idea if you have a two-piece pipe to do to put the header on first and then drop it into the car, which you would use an exhaust gasket, which would go right here. The Zenoa, the Zenoa exhaust gaskets work pretty well. And that's it. Ready to drop in. I hope this helped.